Lord, we yield ourselves to you. Make us indeed from glory to glory. Until we become. Until we become more like you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. we need is him. He's the wisdom we seek. And they said to him on that day, when he spoke to us, didn't our hearts burn? When he spoke to us, didn't our hearts burn? When I say, take me from glory yes, to glory, from love to deeper love, the person who feels the glory to glory is Julia. Because the church must understand that receiving the anointing is not about falling. It's about walking. The church must understand that the anointing we speak about is a becoming anointing. What am I becoming? My mommy is here. What am I becoming? What am I becoming? So the anointing we are talking about is the becoming anointing. What kind of husband am I becoming? Do you realize that your Christianity will be irritating to your spouse when it's not practical? It will be irritating. She will wonder what you are praying about. Just like some of you wondered when your father called you for morning devotion. What is he talking about? You, this weekend man. <laughs> From love to deeper love, till we become more like you. What kind of husband would Jesus be if he ever married? Take us from glory to glory. From love to deeper love, till we become more like you. What kind of wife can the Holy Spirit make? What kind of single, if the Holy Spirit were seeking a lady or a guy to say, This is the prototype of the single I made? So in Genesis, we see that He took the man he had made. Can God take us? He took him and placed him. And like one of the videos I put out today, in this generation of Jackba, can God take you and place you? Some husbands are as terrible as they are because God cannot take them. Anxiety has them. What will hold me when temptation is in my face? Take us from glory. To glow from love the quality of my marriage is a reflection of the quality of my spiritual life. Yes, sir. A lot of people think this is the proof of your spiritual life. When you are done with the tongues, how are you living? A lot of people think this is spirituality. Stand up and marry and be a good husband and be a good wife. Because the quality at that time is what comes out of my mouth. When this woman is stepping on me and I have finished legge, 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 legge. Mommy, the legge, legge will be required in action. Take us from glory.
contention in this day, the contention in this day is a contention of living, not claiming. It's a contention of living. So when you read through scripture, like the scriptures we've been sharing, and you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, he said, when I came to you, I had not come with enticing words of man's wisdom, so that your wisdom or your faith should not be, all right, in the words of men, but in the power of the Spirit. Now, when we talk about that power, you, you, it's a making power. And God makes through instructions. So the question I have tonight for you is, what instruction are you living by? You know, the pastor was talking about fear. Fear is an instruction to fail. That's why if you read Genesis 2.15, the Bible speaks about God commanding the man. He gave him instructions before he gave him a wife. 15, 16, and 17 comes before 18. There are boys that should be alone because there's no instruction. Stop dating a man that God is trying to keep single. Because God is still trying to instruct him. Instruction never rests. Wife won't rest. Oh, mommy has come. Daddy has come. <laughs> Let me sit there briefly. Thank you, guys. Take us from glory to glory. From love to deeper love. Till we be in love like you. Where is it taking us from, everybody? Take us from glory to glory. marriage is not the one that was joined in church it's the one where the spirit can lead her hope in this marriage is the leadership of the Holy Spirit Egala man, if you don't pack out leadership so he commanded Adam let's quickly go to that scripture you guys have grace, amen Genesis 2.15 He will become more like you. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and to keep it. Next verse. And the Lord God commanded, someone say command. Saying of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. Next verse. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that thou eat of it you shall surely die. I want to say something very quickly. This is not the Old Testament. It's just in the portion of the Bible we call Old Testament. This is God speaking in the originality of creation. My generation, we teach a lot of extreme grace. Consequences is not an introduction of the Old Testament that God gave Moses. Moses was not born. As born again and as tongue talking as you are, if you can't be instructed, you will be destroyed. That's why we can be in church and still fail in our marriages. So God instructed him. Let's see verse 18. God couldn't talk about the woman until he talked about the instruction. And the Lord God said to the instructed and commanded man, the one who understood consequences, it is not good that the man be alone. I will make him. Adam did not ask God for wife. God asked Adam to marry him. All this pressure you are putting on God, the question I should ask you is, are you instructed? But only this is my year. I know it's your year. Who told you? My time has passed. Who is holding the calculator? Can I be done with the instruction? Libido should not push you to do what God has not commanded. I know you feel like, you feel like being held. That's why this rainy season that has been cold. Yeah, I understand. I know. God was the one who introduced the conversation. 
Adam was just resting, just doing his work. But let me show you what happened next. Verse 19. Take us from glory to glory. Don't sing. From love to deeper loving. Shh, till we become more like you. Out of the ground. God told him it's not good for him to be alone. The next thing he saw was monkey. Beast. You know, some of you, you have word. Your time has come. Then the next day, he's one son of Ishmael. He has a guy in his hand. He was trying to greet you. God, what means this? Just last night, you gave me a vision. Adam went through a test because when God commands, he wants to see obedience. Switch to the NLT and go to verse 20 and see what happened to Adam. Animals began to come. Animals, 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 animals. Verse 20. He gave names to all livestock and the birds of the sky and all the white animals, but there was no helper just right for him. In essence, it was a test of choosing. I have given you a word, but I want to see that you can stick with the word because in the word he was given was a picture he caught. Settling did not begin in the 21st century. People have been settling since time immemorial. Adam had an opportunity to settle. So he comes to you, his first name is Luke, his last name is Worm. You know what I mean? Say, so actually, actually, you know people know how to come to pastors and say, hey, you won't understand. I won't understand. One year in the marriage, you now want me to understand. I didn't understand when you were settling. Good husbands and good wives are not scarce. People are not just ready to wait. So I put in pressure on God. <laughs> Must I go and empty her the counter? God is not as wicked as we think. God is more interested in your getting married than you are to get married. Why? There's a purpose tied to that marriage. So you think you are the one releasing pressure on him? No. Just go and ask him, why am I still single? He will tell you. Verse 21. Same NLT. He gave names to Aha. Uh -huh. So the Lord God cursed the man. It's after he gave names and didn't choose any of them that God now caused him to sleep. Now guess what? God didn't tell him, okay, now that you're done, go and look for her. God began what I call orchestration. Sometimes we are too awake for God to orchestrate. Look at the word of God. Look back there. Look back at the word of God. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep while the man slept who caused the sleep who did the sleeping who caused the sleep who did the sleeping who gave you a word today do not be afraid who go home and not be afraid who told you do not be afraid who is looking at biological clock who told you I got it figured out who is saying you don't God caused the sleep. Adam did the sleeping. Have you ever been asleep or refused to sleep? You felt sleep because you're watching a, a, a series on Netflix. When sleep comes, it doesn't mean you will sleep. You can choose not to sleep. God caused the sleep. Verse 21, let's wrap this up. So, 22. Ah. Then the Lord God made the woman from the rib. 23, and brought out to the man. At last! The day you will choose the person you will marry, it will line up with the picture God has given. At last! In essence, I was waiting for something. So that the parameter of the ones I rejected was on the basis of a picture I hold. And that picture came from God. So we have a lot of singles who don't even have a picture trying to pick a partner. What's your godly picture? So anything goes. Because I'm 35. Anything goes. Because 40 is looking so close. Anything goes. My parents are speaking. Anything goes. There's a picture. At last, the man exclaimed, this one, <laughs> this one, is bone from my bone, flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from man. Because I'm glory, nothing to glory. I'm love to deeper love. 